Okay guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, things like lens flares in Cinema 4D. Uh, I'll do lens flares if I can remember how. But let me just test it and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've figured out how to do uh, lens flares, like this one here. And I'm just going to go over that in the middle. In the middle. I mean a little bit. Anyway, what you first know what to do is make a world and do whatever you like in it. And then open it with mine ways. I've called mine animation. I've built a little house in it right here. I'm just going to select it. Uh, and then file and export for rendering. And then put it under, save it as test and OK. And we'll have this blue, these blue bars at the bottom, and when they're uh, like finished, I think that it will be done. And why didn't? Oh, it did work. Uh, I didn't say anything. Okay, so just drag the dust ABJ into there and scale it to a thousand. I use this scale because of the rigs I use. And then you're just going to open up one of these textures, and then select all of them with Control A. And you're going to really set the texture to um, like what you called it, and then RGBA, and then turn off specular, and label alpha. And on alpha, you're going to set the texture to test hyphen alpha, and then also set the sampling to none, and then exit that, and you should slowly see all of these turn into a really awesome texture and by really awesome I mean the Minecraft textures. So now if we render things like this uh, they don't have alpha. Why don't they have alpha? Something's on them. Just type in alpha. Hmm. Oh, and also you need to disable this thing called image alpha here. Basically that will just keep the image behind it, and if you take it off, it will make it so that it works properly. So as you can see, it looks nice now because it's got alpha. And the alpha, like, see this? It was black before, like, on the outside bits, and now it's like that. Gives a nice crisp image. So now we've got the world in, probably go want something in the world. So yeah you got your house. But you know. So here's my house and this is what the glass looks like with alpha. Um yeah. So let's just like compact all of these into something a lot nicer. So let's just do uh, let's make uh, I don't know, a phoenix and then just size it down to nothing and then we're going to rename it world and then control A and deselect that and drag it into world uh, control A apart from that and drag you in there okay so then we can just deselect everything and got it in a nice area. And if we want to hide everything, we can just do that. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add a lens flare. So the way you do this is you're going to make it light. It can be any light, but I like to use area. No, sorry, not area light. Infinite light, which means um, it will, like, no matter where you put it, like if it's up here, it doesn't make a difference. You can have it like as far down as you want. It will just always shine light on that area if you twist it. For some reason I don't know why it's not shining light. Oh, there we go. It was the wrong way. Let me just control that. Okay, so I'm just going to take this up all the way and then. Let's put the sun coming from this direction. 
and you just have to I don't know, um, like get this and then put it towards where it's going to be shining so I want mine to shine here I'm going to put it like this uh, I need it to shine down a bit more is that better? no Let me fix this light. So it's shown there. And okay, there we go. I want it shown on the top mainly. Like that. So this bit here, this orange bit, that's where it's going to be shining. So go back down to the house here and let's just um oh, where am I stuck on something? What am I stuck on? Oh I hate the way it's stuck. Well where did it go? There it is. Okay. So at the moment this is what it looks like with the light when it's rendered it looks kind of bad so we're going to click on the light and on glow we're going to just put it to like you could have star like something like red yellow green or something like that i'll just demonstrate with this but obviously we're going to use the sun in a second she's purple for that so that's what it's going to look like now when we render it and um, yeah but that's kind of bad for the sun so let's just have something like um let's just use like the actual sun i think i'll use oopsies sun one and then turn down the brightness on it a bit and turn down the Keep that at one. Okay, so it's not too too bright, and then set this to star two, and that's just going to give it a really good effect. So, if we now go like this, we can see it's the sun, but the background is black still. So we're going to import a sky, and we're going to click on the sky, and use colour, put it to on, and then, no, sorry, that's not how you do it, off, use colour off, just create a new texture, so it's a red right sky, open it, and then you can set the colours. Okay, so you're going to want to um, take off specular, I already did that, and go to colour, no, yeah. Go to texture and select gradient and then click the gradient and do 2db and then we're going to set the first colour to a, either a really light blue or just white and set the second colour to a nice sky blue something like this, I think, yeah, and then that's what we need to do, just drag it and drop it onto sky, and it looks nicer, as you can see, so, let's just zoom in, and look up, the sun. Let's see what it looks like through a tree. I haven't checked that yet. Okay, you can't see it through the tree. But if you can see the actual light bit, then 